What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, you must have watched Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. It was the 8th movie of the franchise and was released in 1993. Today, we will be talking about the history of this movie as well as its story. Moreover, we will talk about the main characters of the movie, so make sure to watch this video until the end. Dra <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, Broly, the Legendary Super Saiyan, is a Japanese anime science fiction martial arts film that is the eighth entry into the Dragon Ball Z series of movies. The original release date of the film in Japan was on March 6, 1993 at Toy Anime Fair. The film was written by Takao Koyama, directed by Shigeyasu Yamauchi, and produced by both Chiaki Imada and Yoshio Anzai. The world premiere of the movie was held on November 14, 2018, at the Nippon Budokan in Chiyoda, Tokyo. This event was limited to only 1,000 people that were selected via lottery. Broly was opened nationwide in Japan on December 14, 2018. The English dub version of the film had its world premiere at TCL Theater in Los Angeles on December 13, 2018, followed by the United States and Canada releasing a month later on January 6, 2019 by Funimation. The movie was able to collect a total gross of $21,658,982 in Japan and the United States. Damn! The main plot revolves around Broly, who was born in the year 737, which was the period of intense unrest between Frieza and the Saiyans. At birth, his most unusual power level of 10,000 was his most curious feature. King Vegeta feared the threat that the boy possessed to his empire, and so he gave the order to execute him. Broly's father, Paragus, begged the king to spare the child's life, testifying that his son could be an extremely valuable asset to King Vegeta and his son. King Vegeta was quick to point out that he wasn't lying. Broly could use his ever-increasing power to overthrow the Saiyan royal family. King Vegeta ends this dispute by condemning Paragus to death and shooting him with a Kai blast. Broly is also stabbed in the chest and left to die with his father. However, Broly ascends and uses his power to shield himself and Paragus when the planet Vegeta is destroyed. He then sticks with his father in plotting revenge against King Vegeta and the royal family. As Broly grows up, it becomes clear to Paragus that King Vegeta was not unjustified in trying to kill him. Due to his power and the traumatic events of his childhood, Broly's behavior became more maniacal and erratic as he matured. One such consequence of this was when he was punched in the face by Broly and left blinded in one eye by him. Fearing for his own safety and unwilling to kill Broly, Paragus used a ring as a special control device to control his body. Paragus barely managed to survive when he adorned Broly with the ring as his calm disappeared when he noticed the crown Paragus was trying to put on his forehead. Paragus then launched a plan to use Earth as a base of operations for universal domination and to take revenge on Vegeta by luring him to a planet to be destroyed by a giant comet. Paragus also used Broly to destroy the remaining planet in the Southern Sphere during this time, which was the main reason for King Kai's recognition of disturbances in the universe. It prompted him to contact Goku and inform him of the Super Saiyan threat. The film begins with King Kai suddenly realizing that the entire Southern Galaxy has been destroyed. He contacts Goku and tells him that the Northern Galaxy, including Earth, is likely to be targeted next. Although he is in a meeting that could decide whether or not to enroll Gohan in a private school, Goku uses instant transmission to teleport to King Kai's planet for more details. Meanwhile, many of the Z fighters are surprised and panicked until suddenly a spaceship lands nearby and they start to march away. Paragus then approaches Vegeta and addresses him as their king. He tells him that a new planet Vegeta has been created and a worthy Saiyan heir is needed to rule it. Although he refuses, Vegeta agrees to follow them after Paragus describes the threat posed by a legendary Super Saiyan who may be destroying the Northern Galaxy. Gohan, Krillin, Oolong, Master Roshi, and Future Trunks all go with Vegeta to the new Saiyan planet as they believe his story is very suspicious. On the new planet Vegeta, the group is introduced to Broly, who joins them on the hunt for the destructive legendary Super Saiyan. Gohan, Krillin, and Trunks separate from the main group and discover that the planet was built by exploiting an entire race of aliens who believe that the legendary Super Saiyan has destroyed their planet. Three of them try to defend the helpless slaves from their abusive masters. 
Goku uses instant transmission again to teleport to the battlefield after his conversation with King Kai. Broly gets excited after seeing Goku, although Paragus manages to keep him under control with a device on his bracelet. Late at night, Broly attacks Goku. Again, Paragus manages to calm Broly. However, Goku starts suspecting that Broly is the legendary Super Saiyan they're actually looking for. He also feels that Paragus is hiding something from them. He eventually confronts Paragus and Broly's backstory is revealed. History revealed that Goku and Broly were both born around the same time and were kept right next to each other as babies. Goku's non-stop crying as an infant had apparently influenced Broly so much that he developed a subconscious hatred towards him ever since. Broly's anger starts to boil over again. The device Paragus used to keep Broly under control had a malfunction, allowing him to turn into the legendary Super Saiyan. Paragus then reveals his true plan, which was to take over Earth and create a real new planet Vegeta by having Broly kill all the Z fighters and take revenge on Vegeta. He also tells the group that a comet will collide with the planet soon and they don't have time to defeat Broly and escape safely. The Z fighters then fight Broly but are all quickly defeated by the raging beast. Vegeta strangely refuses to fight Broly because of his sheer strength as the legendary Super Saiyan. Piccolo appears with a few sensu beans to help the fighters recover and drags Vegeta to the battlefield forcing him to fight as well. Although he agrees to fight Broly, he is unable to defeat him. Moreover, Paragus tries to escape but is stopped by his own son. Broly crushes his rescue capsule and throws it into the approaching comet. In a final confrontation, Goku asks the Z fighters to give him all of their energies. Vegeta is a bit stubborn initially but eventually he agrees. All the combined energy gives Goku enough power to defeat the legendary Super Saiyan, but they still have to leave the planet before the comet destroys it. Everyone uses the ship that Piccolo used to get to the planet. Goku uses instant transmission to take himself and Gohan home. In the end, their biggest confrontation is with his own wife, Chi Chi, who doesn't appreciate Goku missing the school meeting earlier. And thus, the end of Broly the legendary Super Saiyan. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and press that bell notification icon so that you never miss another update. Until next time, peace.